Hey everyone, in this video we will look at another uh, column profile feature in Power Query. So let's start. So how do we look at the profile for columns? So uh, let's go, I'm in the Power BI desktop and on the home tab. So I just go to the transform data tab and I hit transform data. So what it does is that it opens us the Power Query editor for us. And from the Power Query editor, so you can see it's opened the Power Query editor for us. And we are on the home tab. So we go to the view tab and we've got this field called column profile. So we'll check it. Let me just go to the dim geography dimension. So it's easier for me to explain. So let's go here and I'll just now go and check. So if you want to look at a column profile, you click the column profile option. And the moment I hit the column profile option, what it does is it does the column profiling and it shows me the value distribution for each column, like how many times a column has appeared. And it also gives me the column statistics. So the, the count of columns, if there are any errors, if there are any empty, how many distinct values exist. Because this is a geography key, it makes sense. It's a unique value. And then we have NANs, how many zeros, what is the minimum value, what is the maximum value, how many even values exist, how many odd values. So it gives us that column statistics as well. Uh, let's go to the English country region name. So it contains the name of countries. So now if I click here, you can see that uh, the most of the data is for United States. Then we've got Canada, Germany, United Kingdom, France, and Australia. And if I hover over it, it says that 40 rows uh, belong to Australia, which is approximately 6% of the data set. And if I hover over United States, it's 376 rows, and which is roughly 57% of the data set. Now what I can also do is I can copy these column statistics. So I can go here, let's say copy this and I'll go to notepad plus plus and I'll just do a control V and it shows me the column statistics which I've copied. Now it doesn't make any sense min and max. This probably min and max feature makes more sense for a numeric column. Uh, and then, so we've got all this. Now you can right click on these so I can copy this, obviously I can do that. So let's say I copy this and if I go to the notepad plus plus, I obviously get United States. Similarly, I can copy other names as well. And then I right click it, it gives me the option to filter the data. So I can just say filter equals United States. And you can see it just added a step here and it's filtering everything by United States. So I'll just take this out for now. And I'll just uncheck and check the column profile feature. So this for some reason disappears and then I can also get this, so I can get the value distribution and copy it from here as well. So I can copy this, and if I go here again, I can paste it out, so it's showing me the value distribution. And then we did the group by, so at the moment it is grouping by the value that is in the column, so United States and stuff, but I can also group it by text length, so it gives me that option. So you can see if the text length is 13, the, this has the maximum, so I'm guessing this is United States and uh, so on and so forth. So just uh, if you want to like look at the detailed analysis of column statistics and column distribution uh, for a particular column in your data set, you can go and check or uncheck the column profile feature and it gives you the column statistics and gives you the value distribution and it gives you some other options as well. So you can copy that. You can group by value or text, so you can change the value distribution. Similarly, you can copy the column statistics as well. You can filter by certain values and it adds a step in the applied steps pane. So in this video, just to recap, we looked at the column profile feature, uh, which is another data preview feature in Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing.